<laughs> hey there, Divine Feminine. It's your favorite buddy, Divine Masculine. <laughs> How you doing there, Divine Feminine? What's all this? What is this? You're trying to get an energy reading on the Twin Flame? Well, we can't be having that. We're not going to be doing a Twin Flame reading today. I'm going to make sure that you can't find hey, out hey, what's hey, going on. What are you doing over there? Oh, shit. Dude, oh, dude, get away from that. No. You little fucker. You stop. Uh, yeah, try to make me. Oh, <laughs> I'm out of here. Ah. Oh. Oh, God. Divine Masculine. Oh, you s mm. Look at this. Look at this. Dude, I'm telling oh, God, you guys, that divine, at least the damage was minimal, I guess. I don't know. You know what? Nothing is going to stop me from doing this reading. I'm telling you, Divine Feminine, we're going to get an energy update on the Divine Feminine. And we're going to see all about Divine Masculine trying to stop us. <sighs> I'll tell you, that guy, that guy, he sure does get me flustered, that Divine Masculine creep. Anyway, guys, happy Sunday. Welcome to my channel. We're going to get an energy update on the Divine Feminine. Hope you're having a super fantastic Sunday. I sure am. And I hope I can brighten your day. And I got some more interesting information for you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kurt. I am what you call a Divine Feminine Twin Flame. Yes, indeed. And of course, my Twin Flame, who is a cutie wooty little female. And she is little too, she's very short. <laughs> she is what you would call Divine Masculine. And it is the yin and yang my friends, it's not actually about gender. Some people, you know, when they're new to Twin Flames, they're not really sure how this all works. They're trying to figure out the labels, you know. And so they think, you know, I need to balance my inner feminine and masculine to get my Twin Flame to come back. And so we can go on our mission and a blah, 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 blah. Nope. It's actually so much simpler, my friends. You and your twin flame are the same soul, right? That's the one thing on the internet that is true. That's like, there's like two things on the internet about twin flames <clears throat> that everybody gets right. And it's that it's one soul in two bodies or the soul splits or, you know, something like that. It's the same soul, right? Same soul vibration. And you got to detach and detach comes from Ancient Zen spiritualism, not twin flames. Also, separation and union. Those are not actually twin flame terminologies. Well, I just think it's very interesting that they wound up here in the so-called twin flame community. And uh, when you understand what those terms are really talking about, even the DM and DF labels, right? When you understand where those things came from, you might be able to figure out what to do about your situation. It's true. It's absolutely true. You can cause this person to come back to you, but you're doing something other than focusing on the person. You're doing something else, right? It's not actually about the person. It's about your spiritual ascension and you're just completely not even thinking about the person at all. You're not even making it about them whatsoever, and that's exactly when they do show up. Funny how that works, right? Oh, we got some good cards here, Divine Feminine. You are a superstar, my friend. You are just a Twin Flame superstar. Twin Flame superstar. Da da da, da da da. Ah, oh, so guys, welcome. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. You're, ju you're just going to get some new and interesting, fun things that you maybe have never heard before. I am the world's leading twin flame coach, well over 5,000 students. I'm also an emerging leader in the law of attraction 
uh, sphere as well. That seems to be taking off for me. I've already signed up a few hundred people to my Law of Attraction coaching program. So guys, we're moving on and moving up, guys. You can create an amazing life for yourself. You can embrace the Twin Flame journey properly, which is really just your spiritual awakening because technically there is no such thing as the Twin Flame journey. And if you remember that, if you embrace what this journey really is, that's exactly when your Twin Flame does come back. Isn't that nice? That is so super nice. Guys, Check it out. Right at the bottom of the deck, we have Divine Masculine. Ha <laughs> ha! Divine Masculine. Oh, so fine. He's so fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He's so fine. Okay, so Divine Masculine. I'm pretty sure Divine Masculine is going to be chasing you like no other. Now, this is a Divine Feminine reading, but uh, it's kind of in the cards, guys. It's, I mean, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, what do you think that means? And it ain't going to be no monkey ape either. All right, recent past, the Ten of Cups, Divine Feminine. So you want the happily ever after, and that's what everybody wants, and that's fine. I want the happily ever after too. But it's kind of like the way out is through, right? So you are your twin flame. You are one being. You literally are them. The question is, what is you? Because most people believe they are the paradigm of thought, of form, of structure, of desire, of uh, concept, like having the happily ever after, having everything be the way it should be or whatever, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just what that is, right? So remember, you are body, mind, soul. The mind is concept. The soul is consciousness. Now, you and your twin flame are the same soul, right? So everybody believes they are the conceptual or the conceptualizer, everybody believes they are the thinker. Everybody believes they are the figurer outer. Kurt, I gotta figure out how to do this union. How do I cause that to happen? Right, that's not you actually, who's trying to figure it out. You're not the questioner. You're the consciousness, keep watching. Keep watching, it'll make more sense to you. Given time, four of pent, or sorry, five of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Recent past for your 3D situation, so-called karmic situation. Mm -hmm. Yep, so this notion that I'm supposed to be having everything I want, yeah, that kind of got torn down a little bit, didn't it? It was very painful. They call it dark night of the soul, the sense of meaninglessness that you experienced, the intense obsessive thinking, which is so intense that you can't even put it into words, and it's like it's happening to you. The obsessive thinking. You fucking cannot stop thinking about this person. You're living, sleep, eat, breathe. Everything has to do with this person, person, person. And you're fucking going crazy. Right. Dark night of the soul. Right. Now, in ancient Zen spiritualism, they call it ego death. But it's the exact same thing. This is what I was trying to tell you during the intro to this video. The twin flame journey is really just the true spiritual journey. That's all this is, guys. This is your spiritual awakening. And if you treat it that way and stop making it a twin flame thing, that's when your twin flame does come back. That's when they do chase you. Why? Because you and your twin flame are the same spirit. You are the same soul. The mind is this identity, the ego personality, right? It's a collection of retained thought and emotional patterns and that's where you derive your sense of self. Everybody does it, right? You're not bad because you did that. Everybody does it. They call it the human condition. Eckhart Tolle, when this personality becomes triggered, he calls it the pain body. And that's exactly what was happening to you. It was the breakdown of your ego personality, the pain body. It's this activation. And I, 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 I kind of don't like that word because it sounds new agey and it's kind of the woo-woo pop culture, spiritualism version of spiritualism on the internet, but that really kind of is the best word for it. It is kind of, it is an activation, right? Your ego is melting down, breaking down to reveal the higher consciousness, which you are, which is the soul, which is your twin flame. You are your twin flame, guys. Look at this. So judgment in reverse, also known as karma in this particular tarot deck, and the four of swords, right? So 
trying to sift through the murky waters. What is this all about? Guys, and I, I say this all the time. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again because it's so good, guys. You ever get the feeling that there's something else about this journey that you're supposed to be doing? There's something else that I'm supposed to be up to and I just can't quite put my finger on it. I just can't quite put my finger on it. What is it? What is the thing? There's something else that I'm supposed to be doing. There, like, like, why do I want to watch tarot readings all of the sudden? Why am I looking at spiritual videos all of the sudden? Why am I going through all of these drastic sea changes in my life? Why the sense of meaninglessness? And why am I acting this way about this person? I've never done this before in my life. What the fuck is wrong with me? You feel me? Yeah, I knew you would. Guys, you are transforming at such a fundamental level. Please leave your comments in the comments section below. If you can articulate it better than I can, what is it that we are trying to put our finger on? What is it? What is this knowing? Now, you know that this person is your twin flame, right? You know, you, some of you have this kind of knowing that you're going to be together. How can you know that? That's what the mind says. The mind wants to know. The mind doubts, right? Remember, again, I'm not reinventing the wheel. Body, mind, soul. This is why I'm the world's leading twin flame coach, over 5,000 students, because I'm not reinventing the wheel. Your body, mind, soul. We already know that. Now, you and your twin flame are the same soul. So what are those things? Mind is duality, thought, concept. Soul is consciousness, self, being. Right, so who are you? Guys, the knowing that you're on some kind of a strange spiritual path, the knowing that you're going to be together or that this is your twin flame, that's the soul. The doubt is the mind, right? So when you doubt the knowing, like, how do I know this is true? I don't know. Maybe I was just making it up. That's the mind. But the actual knowing itself, that's the soul. You got to go there, guys. That's who you really are. You are that knowing. It's energetic. And I can't really articulate it any better than that, but maybe you can. Although I, I do try. You can't uh, fault me for a lack of trying. As a matter of fact, go watch my free coaching videos, guys. They're free. Absolutely free. I am the number one twin flame coach. Go check them out, guys. All over this channel. Knight of Pentacles at the center of the reading. Current energy. Very interesting. So, this slowing down process, you're either doing it now, have been for a while, or will be very soon, right? Actually thinking things through, like stop, wait a minute, hold it, stop, wait. <sighs> Deep breath. What is going on here? I've got to be rational here. What the fuck? And think about this stuff, guys. Now, I can start with thinking. And this is where I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull you in the direction of your soul, which is your twin flame. That's who you are. You are your twin flame. You're one soul. This person is just another incarnation of your soul. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that the soul incarnates, reincarnates, right? Like past lives, right? You just have two in this lifetime. You and your twin flame, two incarnations of the same soul. You got to do soul stuff, guys. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. This is traditional Zen spiritualism. Look at this. Look at this. Here's another clue. So this is what I'm talking about. See the star next to the emperor and the stars in reverse. Right, you're doing too much. You're trying too hard to figure it out. There is part thinking. There, there does come a time. That's why this Knight of Pentacles is coming out. It's trying to tell you there is a purpose for the mind. You stop and you have, okay, wait, reality check. What is going on here? Because I don't normally act like this about a breakup. Right. Also, what about all the repeating number patterns, the synchronicities, the knowing, and the obsessive thinking? Oh my God, what a dead giveaway. The obsessive thinking is so fucking weird, guys. And you, you might, don't fall into the trap. You might not be doing this. This could just be a warning. The emperor next to the star in reverse is trying too hard. Okay, trying to think it through too hard. This is not a journey of thinking, though. This is a journey of being. Thought is actionable. The soul is just being. It's just existing. It's who you are. You literally are your twin flame, guys. You already are them. 
You are so powerful and you absolutely have the power to get your twin flame to start talking to you again. You absolutely do because you fucking are them. You feel me? Guys, go watch my free coaching videos. Go check them out, guys. I have an identifiable core teaching. I'm not better than anybody else, guys. I'm not. But you know what? I got the right message and my message is different. So just go check it out, guys. Go try it for yourself. There's a playlist on this channel. It's called How to Get Your Twin Flame. Go check it out. You could also just kind of cruise through the videos section of my channel and look at some of the newer content, guys. We do it like nobody else here. Why? Because we're not reinventing the wheel. This is ancient Zen spiritualism. This teaching is thousands of years old. That's why this works. You and your twin flame are the same soul. You just got to do soul stuff. And we already know what that is. Buddha, Jesus, Krishna, the Dalai Lama, Eckhart Tolle, Paramahansa Yogananda, Krishnamurti, Charlotte Jaco Beck. Even Abraham Hicks gets this. I mean, she's not a twin flame coach, but she understands the core of the soul, which is consciousness. Guys, that's what this is. Okay, so towards divine masculine, right, still kind of pining, but you're coming out of the fog. Good for you, divine feminine. Because I got to tell you something, that motherfucker is going to be chasing you like no other very soon. Your twin flame. Have you looked at the collective readings we've been doing lately and the DM readings that Andrea has been doing? Guys, don't skip. Don't skip that part of this message. <laughs> that karmic situation is falling the fuck apart and you are getting ready. You're starting to see through the fog, guys. That's what this is all about. And Divine Feminine, I got to tell you, you're an expert. You're an expert. You met your twin flame. You're absolutely an expert. You absolutely can do this. And another thing, I got some more resources for you. You can sign up for my already affordable Introduction to the Journey online video coaching program for twin flames for 25% off. It's already affordable, guys. When you pay in full, get 25% off for my already affordable coaching program, eight and a half hours long. All you got to do, pay in full with this coupon code at the checkout. Boo! Put this coupon code in, get 25% off just like that. You can also get 25% off my manifesting course. Don't use the manifesting course for twin flames. It'll backfire. If you want money or a soulmate or a better job or better health or whatever, right? But for twin flames, introduction to the journey, sign up today, guys, through the end of October. And just a, just a reminder, you can find us here now on this other place. Look at your screen if you're not. Find us here, and we're going to talk about all the things except Twin Flames. We're not going to talk about Twin Flames there. <laughs> There's plenty of that on YouTube, but soulmate relationships in particular, we're going to focus on also all the cool like spiritual woo-woo stuff, ancient aliens, you know, uh, new earth, like the increasing consciousness on the planet, um, alternative human history and law of attraction, all the cool shit, guys, like telepathic experiences, uh, angels, ghosts, all that. Kind of, I can't wait, guys. Go check it out over there. Guys, the introduction to the journey for Twin Flames, it's so comprehensive. I can't even right now. I just can't even, guys, eight and a half hours of instructional videos. I'll give you action steps you can implement right now, right now to shut down the obsessive thinking and shift energetically into your soul, which is your twin flame. Remember, it's not a journey of the mind. It's not something that you understand. It's an inner standing. When you're done watching the instructional video course, you and I get to talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting on my Get Your Twin Flame Spiritual Coaching System, up to four calls a week. Guys, that's like eight hours of coaching, live coaching every week in addition to the Twin Flame Instructional Video Course. Uh, you can talk directly to us or my two coaches assisting me, actually three, pretty soon. It's a team, guys. I got a dedicated customer service department and there's also the online community the secret, closed, private Facebook group, not my public New World All-Star group, but the private Facebook group for paying students, almost 400 amazing people in there. You can sign up right now 
and talk to people from all over the world who are going through the same thing you are. You're not crazy, guys. You're fucking not crazy. And it's not expensive, guys. Sign up today. And I even have payment plans. If you cannot afford my already crazy affordable prices, amazing content, so thorough, so comprehensive, so much, no problem, guys. I got payment plans. You can get started for $60 or $70. I'll take the total package price and break it down into six easy to digest payments and you get instant access to the videos when you sign up. Guys, sign up today, sign up today and uh, make it happen, guys. Get on this journey and do it right. Do it the way it was meant to be. It's your soul's journey, guys. And you can have those breakthroughs just like all of my other amazing students. Guys, here you go, narrowness. I'm telling you, this is on the way out, guys. This energy up here, this painful energy, it's on the way out, dude. You are absolutely broadening your horizons. I'm going to read out of the book for that one. That is too good. Nine of Crystals. It's my Voyager Tarot that I'm using as an Oracle deck today. Let's see. Cups, Crystals, Nine of Crystals. There it is. Narrowness. The hardness and impenetrability of the crystal, though conferring stability and power, also isolate it. Similarly, your mind may be closed, insular, and inflexible. The crystals represent bars, symbolizing the restrictions you have placed on your thinking. Fixed and intolerant, you maintain a narrow-minded tunnel vision represented by the shrunken tunnels and apertures through which you view the world. Narrowing the mind, however, is essential to concentration. Keep your focus and go deeply into subjects. Be thorough and not distracted. Guys, bingo, I fucking nailed it. I fucking nailed it with this Knight of Pentacles. There's so much that can be discussed conceptually about consciousness, but it'll never stop. The only way you're really gonna get consciousness is if you experience it. But if you're at the part where you want to talk about it, guys, you got to talk about it. You got to do that. You've, you've got, this is so, you guys don't even know what you're missing out on. Oh my God. I can't even tell you how my life has changed after I got on this journey proper. This is your spiritual awakening and you just need to treat it that way, you guys. And yeah, your twin flame, they're going to come along for the ride. But you guys, I'm, I'm telling you, the best part is what you become. That's the best part, you guys. That's the best part. Look at this. The fool in reverse, right? Blasting right through the illusion. Divine feminine. I love that. Oh my God. Okay. And look at this. Getting closer to the climax. Queen of cups in reverse next to the knight of swords. Right. Huge sea changes going on internally for you right now. And it's going to just spill all over the place into your 3D physical reality, absolutely transforming everything in your 3D physical reality, Divine Feminine. You are such a fucking badass. And look at this. Look at this. Guys, that says it all. That says it all. Towards your Divine Masculine, Three of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Right. There's nothing for me to understand. This is an inner standing, and you are in receipt of that deeper inner standing. It's not conceptual. It's not conceptual, guys. There is no examination. There's no examiner. You're it. It's not out there. Am I making sense to you? I thought so. Guys, you are so powerful. You are your twin flame. You don't need to do anything about the actual physical person at all. You just need to go within. This is your spiritual awakening. And that's all. You just need to treat it that way. This is an ancient, ancient, ancient teaching. That's all it is, guys. Oh, my God. Happy Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe. Because if you don't, you won't get notifications. Whenever I post one of my awesome YouTube videos, I'll be back tomorrow for Manifestation Monday, and then Tuesday, Twin Flame Tuesday. You don't want to miss that one, guys. Much love.